Okay, this is question six of the AQA Mechanics 1B January 2013 exam paper. This question is about resultant velocities. Um, we've got a river that has straight parallel banks. The water in the river is flowing at a constant velocity of three meters per second, parallel to the banks. A boat crosses the river from point A to point B so that its path is at an angle of alpha to the bank. The velocity of the boat relative to the water is 4 meters per second and is going perpendicular to the bank. And the diagram shows us, us all of these velocities. So um, part A is asking us to show that alpha is equal to 53.1 degrees. So I'm going to start off by drawing a diagram. Um, I know that I've got a speed in that direction of 4 meters per second and that's the boat relative to the water. I also know that I've got a speed in that direction of 3 meters per second and that's the um, river flowing and my resultant is going to be in this direction like so and um, we want to know the angle that that makes with the bank so if we put all of these together in a diagram so it's heads to tails I've got four there three there and my resultant there um, it would look like this okay and because that's perpendicular to the bank um, I could draw my bank and that's going to go along there like so okay so what we're looking for is we're looking for um, this angle here which is going to be the same as this angle here okay so that's also going to be alpha and those two will be the same because of the parallel lines and they make alternate angles okay, so alpha there and alpha there are the same as each other we know that this here is 4 and this here is 3 so I can work out that by saying that the tan of alpha is going to be equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent so it's going to be 4 over 3 um, and if you put that into your calculator alpha works out to be 53.1 degrees okay for part B um, it says the boat returns along the same straight path from B to A. Given that the speed of the boat relative to the water is still 4 meters per second, find the magnitude of the resultant velocity of the boat on the return journey. So we're still going to have our um, river flowing at 3 meters per second. We're now going in this direction and we need to find out um, the magnitude of the resultant velocity of the boat on the return journey. So I'm going to start off by drawing a diagram. So we now are in this direction here. Um, so this is our return journey. We've still got this speed of 3 meters per second. So I've still got this of 3. Um, and I now can see from that that my velocity is going to have to go in that direction there so I'm going to put this over here and um, I'm going to have to have a velocity that goes in this direction in this direction here 
Okay, so that's my resultant. We know that this here is going to be, just tidy that up a little bit. We know that this here is going to be 3, and this here is going to be 4, because um, the speed of the boat relative to the water is still 4 meters per second. I also know um, an angle, because I know that this angle here with the bank I worked that out before alpha is 53.1 degrees which means over here um, we're going to get an angle that's going to be um, 180 take away 53.1 degrees so that there is going to be 126.9 degrees okay <coughs> what um, we're now going to have to do is use our cosine rule um, so our cosine rule is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared take away 2bc times by the cosine of angle a so this is our angle a here which means this length here is going to be our length though, so we've got 4 squared is equal to, and it doesn't matter which way around we do b and c, so we'll call that one b, 3 squared. Our velocity here um, is what we're trying to find out, so I'm just going to call that v plus v squared. Take away 2 times 3 times v times by the cosine of 126.9 degrees okay um, what you might want to do now is um, see if you can stop the video and have a go at working that out to find out what V is okay if you have um, stopped the video and, you, and you've had a go at this um, what you should have ended up with is a quadratic equation where v squared plus 3.6 v take away 7 is equal to 0. If you've not got that just have a quick check and see where you might have um, gone wrong. If you have got that and you've gone on to solve that what you should have got is that v is equal to 1.4 or v is equal to minus 5 okay um, we can exclude this answer because we know that our velocity has to be going in this direction in order to get from that side of the river to this side of the river um, so we must have this here which is our answer as 1.4 meters per second. Okay, thanks very much.